In the realm of vaccine development, we're seeing that some places are looking into the tuberculo tuberculosis vaccine, excuse me, um, as a possible vaccine to repurpose towards COVID-19 prevention. And let me explain where that idea comes from. So the vaccine, which is generally known as a BCG vaccine, contains bacteria related to the bacterium that causes tuberculosis. So depending on where the vaccine has been created, what company makes it, it might contain a di different bacterium. Um, and in giving this vaccine, they find that it's effective against tuberculosis, but also that it helps people defend the body against other respiratory infections as well. So it might be responsible for mounting a broader immune response than just specifically that one bacterium. So in this respect, there's been some very anecdotal preliminary evidence um, that places that require that people get the tuberculosis vaccine in childhood seem to be hit less hard by COVID-19 at the moment. Again, this is very anecdotal and mostly theoretical at this point, but that's why you might see that people are now looking to tuberculosis vaccines to understand why this trend might be surfacing, whether it's valid at all, um, and whether this could be grounds for vaccine development going forward for a specific COVID-19 vaccine. Um, that said, just to give you more background on the tuberculosis vaccine, it's thought that rather than targeting the adaptive immune system, adaptive meaning that this is the immune system that learns from exposure to new pathogens and learns to defend the body against them. Rather, this vaccine seems to tap into the innate immune system, which responds to insults more broadly. Um, so it doesn't discriminate against different pathogens and target them very specifically with antibodies, but rather releases immune cells quickly in response to any introduction of a foreign substance into the body. So it's thought that this vaccine, quote unquote, boosts the innate immune system in that way. And in that respect, even though it's a vaccine targeting a bacterium, could somehow help people with the respiratory illness caused by this virus. But again, largely theoretical, and we should learn more about that in the coming weeks.